<clears throat> okay guys uh let's do the hydrostatics force on submerged areas no? on submerged areas so uh hydrostatic uh, hydrostatic force we 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 call it uh h that's right here we call it h s um hsf no it's hsf it's hydrostatic force and then this hydrostatic force is always calculated by the formula let's say f to represent the hydrostatic force is equal to um the pressure times gravity times area times the center of gravity now, so uh you always have uh, this center of gravity which is the half of them so when you're doing it um uh, what you call hydrostatic force on submerged um, areas that means now if let's say you are having water né? this is the water level so this water level you are putting inside uh, a certain um, maybe a certain piece of uh, let's say metal or anything that has area no so when it has area that means it's going to have this one no so that means let's say we are putting inside this um rectangular shape uh, of metal inside the water so keep in mind this is your water level so if you have a water level that means here you're going to have your height and then you're going to have what you call your breadth now yeah? or you can say it's length or breadth uh when when it put it inside right inside the water so um if they say calculate now your hydrostatic force so you're going to calculate your hydrostatic force using this formula which is the pressure uh so sorry is a density the density e is either a of any substance it can either be uh water and when you know that density of water is 1000 and then uh, if it's not uh, of water, they can uh, sometimes give you what you call a specific gravity. A specific gravity, we say, it is the same as what your relative uh, density, which is Rd. And this is always equal to what? the density of what? of the substance over the density of what? of water. So if you're given uh, the relative uh, velocity or, uh, sorry, relative um density or the specific gravity is the same thing so always you're going to multiply it by what by the uh by the density of water so if you have a specific gravity maybe of 0 0.9 you're going to multiply by the gravity uh the relative velocity of water to get what to get the um this this uh this is what you call um your density of the substance which uh maybe sometimes can be oil or sea water or any sort of uh, substance that you put inside this one then uh you have your gravity your gravity is always going to burn it's always going to be 9.81 and then you have your area so your area as i said your area it depends on what it depends on the shape so your area in this case that means you are going to say area is going to be length multiplied by this height so we only consider this one right so it's going to be uh this is a rectangle you can say it's le uh, length times breadth or because we will put it h we say it's a height right and then we have uh this what you call uh your specific gravity you know your specific gravity sorry oh my head is not here today but then uh this one is uh it's your center na center of gravity or which is the uh it's your centroid so this one uh this center which is y is going to be always be the half of what half of h so it's going to be h over two or the center from what from the uh level of your water toward to the center of this uh, point and then you get what you get this uh, age and then we also have uh, what you called um, a pressure you know? 
uh, center of pressure. So the center of pressure it's always uh, H over. Um, so your your center of pressure is always this one H. So this center of pressure is where the force or the your hydrostatic force is going to act on what on this object. So always uh, on 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 a rectangular shape like this. Your hydrostatic, uh, sorry, your, 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 what you call your, your center of uh, pressure. This one is your center of pressure. Uh, there's no need to write. So the center of pressure is always uh, the point at which the force, or your hydrostatic force, is going to act on it, on this object. Let's say uh, this one is your center of gravity, right? Which is why. Is the center which this one is close to uh, is going to be h over two uh, but then uh, this hydros um, the center of gravity your center of um, your center of pressure not gravity your center of pressure this one is go always going to be um, uh, from the bottom if you can get from this bottom maybe the center is somewhere here Let's say for an example is somewhere here. So the center here is going to be always h. It's going to be h over 3. So this h is show that is the center of at center of pressure. But this h is the height of it of this one. So it's always going to be h over 3. From what? From the bottom of it. From the bottom of uh, this uh, point but at uh, this side like uh, on this side is going to be always um, equals what always going to be three sorry two over three times h which is going to be your center of what center of pressure ne? so it's two uh, over three times what times h if now you are taking from what from the top because uh, this one is going to, um, it, it, it's showing us what the hydrostatic force. They say the hydrostatic force is going to act here, right? This is your HFRS, uh, right? So now um, this pr uh, center of pressure is going to help us, let's say, maybe they, you, they have put it what you call hinges here on top. You know hinges uh, will be uh, these uh, these two points that is going to hold what to hold this um, our plate inside what inside this substance or inside this water. No, let, let, uh, let, let, let's redraw this then here. So let's say uh, we have this water level, and then we also have this, uh, and then it's hold it with what with hinges here on top. And then, um, and then I uh, say now you need to calculate what you call. So remember, we said here from the center, we have what we have the center of gravity, which is going to be h over two. Say we said this is b, this is what this is h, and then um, we have what our h uh, hsc, which is the hydrostatic force. The hydrostatic force is always going to be, uh, if we calculate it from the bottom, M is going to be, which is this, uh, is this distance is the hydrostatic force, which is going to be H over 3. If we calculate it from the top, it's going to be H. It's going to be 2 over 3 times H. Now, so... Now, if you say calculate now the forces of what of these hinges, so we're going to take what to take moment at about this point. Now we're going to make what we're going to make a uh, what you call um, a beam. Now, so remember, I said this is center of what center of pressure. It's where the force, the hydrostatic force, is going to be applied. Now. So if it's going to be applied, let's put it in this way. So this is going to be H F sim. 
and then you need to calculate these two forces. Yeah. So we're going to take what? We're going to take uh, your pre, uh, your what you call here, your 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 moment at this point, or maybe sometimes they will put what you call uh, a bolt here. So maybe if they will put a bolt here, so now you have what you have the force of the bolt this side, you have your force of what of your hinges this side. So now you're going to have a certain uh, thing like this. This is a for, uh, force of the bolt, and then this is the force of what this is a force of what of your hinges. So and then you're going to have what the force of what uh, your hydrostatic force like this so in this case now you need to calculate what maybe you need to calculate the force of the hinges but remember the hinges are two right so that means you're going to divide these forces uh by two now or yeah it's up to you how you're going to calculate this one but then the force of the hinges will always be the same and it's always going to be balanced. So if you get 10 here, that means you're going to divide it by 2. So that this is 5, this is 5. And then now from here, you're going to calculate. So remember, say that this is the center of, of pressure from the bottom, which is equal to what? Uh, H over 3. And then this side is what? This side is the center, also center of pressure, but from what? From the top to this uh this one which is going to be two over three times h no and then uh the whole distance this one is going to be your distance of at of h which is this h now you can be able to calculate what your your uh, the forces of what on 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 the hinges right uh okay so this is what uh this is uh, is when uh, you don't have what you don't have a depth, but then uh, if you put uh, a depth now, let's say uh, the water levels now is here on top, and then this uh, surface you put it uh, maybe somewhere here, and then now uh, this is still what this is still your edge, this is still your breadth, and then uh, now you are having what you call your depth distance here. Yeah. So this depth, uh, let's let's put uh, what what letter we can put uh, depth depth depth. Okay, let's put D for depth. No, yeah. so this is your depth. This is your water level. Mm. This is your water level, right? So if this is your water level now. Everything now will change, but then the hydrostatic forces still remain the same. We say the hydrostatic forces what is uh, the pre uh, the what you call it, um is always going to be your 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 density uh, multiplied by your gravity multiplied by the area multiplied by your center. Now, but then now to take your center now is going to be the center from the top to this bottom so it's going to be this center now your center is going to be h this h over 2 right plus your depth which is going to be d right so it's your center of gravity now and then um for 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 for, for your pressure what you call uh, your 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 center of pressure this hf so now this one uh you're going to say okay now uh you're going to have uh this formula right uh, this formula is going to be uh your i which uh your i is called um uh, your moment of inertia over um your article your, your 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 gravity again which is going to be um the center of gravity multiplied by sine uh square theta uh, plus your center of gravity right so uh 
this one uh, we call it uh, this is your moment of inertia and always your moment of inertia you always calculate uh, the, the what you call the substance in uh, sorry the moment of inertia of what of whatever that is inside in this case if you have uh, this box you're going to calculate what the moment of inertia of this box and then the moment of inertia of a uh, of a rectangle or a square is going to be b times d cubed over 12 and the si unit of moment of inertia is equal to uh, uh, m to the power, power 4 which is meters to the power 4 no? and then if maybe you have a circle here maybe you have a second not inside let's make let's make, maybe just put a circle here so your circle is going to be always be uh pi uh, t to the power 4 over 64. this is the formula to calculate what your moment of inertia which is going to be i always right so and then we also have um what you called uh okay um sorry uh, we made a mistake here this one is for the area right this one is for the area not for the so this one is going to be area so the area which is going to be h times b in our case if it's a circle it's going to be the area of a circle which is pi d to the power 2 over 4 and then this theta now so this theta it depends uh, because sometimes uh, this theta is going to be uh, the angle of what of the fluid of the uh, in the surface. So uh, if it's put it like this, that means now your theta, this one, it's at what is at ninety degrees, right? So you're going to put ninety degrees. But sometimes now, if you put find that your water levels uh, are at an angle now. They say this the substance it's here. This is your water level, right? So if your water level and then you need to put at this theta here, everything doesn't change. Uh, you're going to have uh, your y here uh, to the to a certain point, and then you have um, also your your h here né, to a certain point like this. So everything is going to be the same thing. And then you put what this theta uh, on your formula here to get what? To get the center of pressure. So once you have the center of pressure, then everything will be easier from them. Right. So uh, stay tuned. And then uh, we're going to uh, call, do another. Uh, this one is for the areas we're going to do. The other one is for uh, the hydrostatic uh, pressure at what um, uh, of at image bodies. Uh, image bodies is where we, we we deal with what we deal with volume. Now we deal with we are dealing with uh, area. So right now we're dealing with area, but the image bodies we're going to deal with volume. So um, I'm going to do a follow up the video to do uh, another one when it's at a cave cave like this um, so stay tuned uh, and also uh, stay tuned I have this uh, what you call this um, uh, this question paper so after the image bodies are on volume we'll be doing these question papers from last block right Thank you for...